Seven must-know things before you buy a car. There are lots of things you should know before saying, I'm in the market for a car. And to be really frank with you, don't even go drive through a dealer lot with your windows up and your doors locked until you watch this video. These tips will apply even if you're buying from a private party, but especially before purchasing a car from a car dealer. There are several important considerations to help ensure that you get a fair deal and avoid some of the common pitfalls. In today's show are seven key things every consumer should know before buying a car. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Some of you may wonder, how did the Homework Guy name come to be? It's pretty simple. Because I wanted to approach car sales at my first dealership from an honest perspective, I adopted the Homework Guy nickname almost from day one. I knew that I could not simply tell my prospects that I will give them honest treatment unlike other guys on the lot. I needed an approach that I could use that nobody who was hungrily pushing a sale would ever think of using or asking. I said things that no salesman would ever say and as a result, I won the trust of nearly all customers I saw. Those who didn't buy on the first visit, and you know many didn't because I sent them home to do homework, they often came back. 70% of the people I talked to would return in a few days or a week later looking only for me. That's how I became the number one car salesman in my dealership in just four short months, never having sold cars before. Here to help me lay out seven key things you need to know before buying a car. And by the way, this is the same stuff I taught my clients back when I was selling cars. Back then I had to do it undercover, but no more. Here we are 15 years later and I have no concern about a boss coming by and saying, you ever say that again to a customer or let another person go and you'll be fired. My customers always got great deals, and that is what I'm here to help you do today. Joining me in the studio is the always amazing Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Thanks, Kevin. I'm glad to be a part of sharing these seven key steps with our viewers. Some of these things you have heard us say before, we wouldn't have to repeat ourselves if YouTube would stop burying our content. Shame on you, YouTube. We're trying to help people save time, money, and headaches. So... Here we go, sitting at number one. Know the fair market value of the car that you're after. So do your research. Use resources like Kelly Blue Book, Admins, or True Car to understand the fair market value of the car you're interested in, both for new or used vehicles. Researching multiple websites will get you much closer to real values. On Kelly Blue Book, that's KBB, enter the car's make, model, year, mileage, condition, and location to get an estimated market value. KBB gives you values for trade-in, private party, and dealership prices. Admins can also be useful. Similar to KBB, Admins allows you to input the car's details to receive an estimated value based on local market trends. It also provides data on fair purchase prices. Then there's TrueCar. TrueCar shows what others in your area paid for similar vehicles, which can help you understand the price range and where you stand in negotiation. Always negotiate your car price based on data. Armed with this knowledge, you can negotiate a fair price. And don't just lowball the dealer either. Make a fair, firm offer. But make sure you never accept the dealer's first out-the-door offer, and you must insist it's an out-the-door price. Number two, understand your financing options. Pre-approval versus dealer financing. Getting pre-approved for a loan from your own bank or credit union can give you more negotiating power and a better interest rate. If the dealer offers you financing, always have a pre-approval letter to compare the dealer's financing offer against. Car dealers love writing car loans, so don't be surprised if you get nicer treatment if you get a loan from them. Bringing an outside loan is the same as paying in cash these days. Watch for hidden fees. Be aware of additional costs like dealer fees, documentation fees, and extended warranties, which can inflate the total cost of the car pretty significantly. Many of these costs come up in the dealer finance office. Yes, they do. Number three, check for add-ons and extras. Dealers love to push add-ons. As Kevin mentioned, common extras include paint protection, fabric protection, and extended warranties. Consider if these are really worth the cost. Just to be clear, because I get this question every single day of the week. Do I have to buy the overpriced floor mats and window tinting? If it's on the manufacturer's official Monroney window sticker and it is in the MSRP price for new cars, yes. Yes, you have to pay for those. If the dealer added the floor mats and window tinting themselves at the dealership and the items are on the car contract, not the window sticker, no, you do not have to pay for these. Also, just say no to the unnecessary add-ons like this. Dealers often add these to pad their deal. You can refuse these add-ons, which can save you significant money. 
To help give your argument against these add-ons some muscle, read the FTC site about tying the sale and understand that it is illegal. And then be able to differentiate if the items are in the MSRP price or are not in the MSRP price. How are we doing so far? Does this sound like anything a sale-hungry salesman would talk about? Of course not. Anyone out there in car sales wanting to grow their business should follow these suggestions. I guarantee you'll stand out from others. Yep. Now we move on to number four. Beware of buy here, pay here lots. Not just beware of them. Never, ever buy a car from a buy here, pay here lot. These dealers are the worst of the worst. For starters, they have sky high interest rates. These dealers often cater to customers with poor credit and offer in-house financing, but the interest rates are always significantly higher. Now, I'm going to say don't check anything at a buy here, pay here lot. In fact, stay a mile away from these buy here, pay here lots. You shouldn't be there in the first place, no matter what your situation is. Not only do they have terrible finance terms, they have super crappy cars guaranteed to break down and leave you without a vehicle to drive. And then to add insult to injury, they'll come and repossess it. So if you have no other way to buy a car than a place like this, Ride the bus, carpool with others, get a bicycle, and save up your money. It'll be far better than the convenience of getting ripped off at a buy here, pay here lot. (laughs) And that's not really convenient. That's not convenient, yeah. Number five, check out the vehicle thoroughly. So start with a pre-purchase inspection, especially if the vehicle is used. It's important to have a trusted mechanic inspect the car before you finalize your purchase. If the vehicle is new, you should still look it over carefully. Always test drive. Right. Take the car for a thorough test drive to check for issues with performance, handling, and overall comfort. We talk about keeping your emotions in check so that you can make a logical buying decision. Make sure this deal logically is what you need. No good deal is worth pursuing on a vehicle that you really don't like or doesn't suit your needs. Or it doesn't work the way you need it to. And number six, understand dealer incentives and rebates. This is on new cars. Cashback offers and dealer rebates. These can lower the car's price, but make sure they're clearly outlined and subtracted from the price, not just added on as an incentive to make you buy. Right. Manufacturer versus dealer incentives. Sometimes manufacturers offer incentives that dealers don't mention up front. Ask about all the available offers. That's right. Number seven, check the vehicle history report for used cars. You can use Carfax or AutoCheck. This report can give you insight into previous accidents, title issues, and ownership history, which is especially important when buying a used car. Just don't put all your weight on a car report because, as we shared some time ago, the Carfax is not the car bible. That's right. Certified pre-owned cars, the CPOs out there, Dealers who market these cars claim that these cars typically come with a more rigorous inspection and warranty from the manufacturer, which can provide some peace of mind for some people. But that definitely comes at a premium. A premium, we say, is often not worth the extra money. By being prepared, friends, with these insights, you can protect yourself from common dealership tactics and ensure you're making a sound financial decision. If you'd rather not go through the process of doing homework to get yourself prepared to buy a car as a well-informed consumer, read up on our hassle-free car buying service at thehomeworkguy.com. If you really want peace of mind getting a car, our hassle-free car buying service definitely delivers. As I have stated in previous shows, our hassle-free car buying service is the only hassle-free car buying service that saves you the hassle of going it alone in a dealer finance office. We never turn you loose on a finance man. Never. Also, when you hire us, either me or Kevin will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us, and we are the only show hosts on YouTube that offer this kind of personalized service. What's really different about our car buying service compared to others is that we are the only truly customer-focused service provider you can find. We are not trying to recruit dealers to a referral network like many others are doing, and we don't have other motives behind our interest in helping you. We never want to be anything like the Costco Auto Program with a lame dealer referral network. We know those things always fail. Miserably. Mm -hmm. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your next car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399. In closing, I want to take a moment to talk to those of you who just want to get the most out of your current or future vehicle. That's super cool with us. You can learn what's a good, reliable, new, or used car to buy in the first place, or you can get advice on best maintenance practices for your vehicle. To do all of that, we have an in-house automotive expert on board with us. He is exceptionally talented and will help you get the most out of your current or future car. His name is Alex Stevens. He's a former race team mechanic who has built a ton of different cars from the ground up. 
He has numerous automotive connections and knows so many great people in the mechanical field, he can get to the bottom of any problem car related. If you've been having an ongoing problem with your current vehicle, you need to talk to Alex. You'll be amazed at what he knows about your car without even seeing it. Yep. To read up about Alex, just go to our website and click on the pull-down menu and find Ask the Auto Expert. Alex Stevens is available at a low introductory price, just 75 bucks, and he's beyond knowledgeable and talented. As I mentioned before, Alex will be joining me soon to give his take on cars to avoid. If you own one of these bad cars, how to care for it so it doesn't leave you stranded. If you buy the $75 call with Alex, I promise you'll be delighted to talk to him. Either me or Liz will connect you to Alex. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire hassle-free Homer Guy team. Thanks for listening.